hi everyone and welcome back to my youtube channel it's me ade here again if you've seen me for the first time my name is ade and i film about faith motherhood and lifestyle okay so if you're a new subscriber and you're considering subscribing please definitely hit that subscribe button we are trying to grow this channel organically okay so um if you're an existing subscriber thank you so much for always always coming back it's honestly means a whole lot to me anyway from the title of this video i'm sure you already know what this video is all about this is a sickle cell anemia campaign okay so um one of my youtube sisters one of my youtube friends nazo is a reached out to me to say um she's done a collaboration with banter with nj in regards to sickle cell um, anemia awareness and if i would like to um jump on the um, awareness campaign or the challenge you know something like that and i'm like why not okay so i'm just going to be speaking about a couple of things in this video i'm going to be speaking about if love is greater than genotype i'm sure if you see this title of if you see the title of this video you already know the answer to that but i'm going to be giving you the reasons why okay so we are going to be talking about um if love is um, greater than genotype and you know a whole lot of other things okay a whole lot of things that people are not aware about things that people are not they don't know of they are not aware of you know and all of those good stuff if this is something you're interested in please do not go anywhere sit back and keep on watching <laughs> back um first of all i want to say that if you're a sickle cell um anemia warrior it is not your fault okay it is it is not your fault and god does not love you any less and i just pray that god gives you that healing you know that <sighs> i've read a lot of things about you know what sickle cell anemia warriors go through and i can I can't even begin to phantom it. I can't even begin to comprehend it because it's a whole lot. It's a whole lot. I remember watching a video on Instagram about, um, you know, someone she posted on her page, you know, when she had the sickle cell crisis. And I'm like, why? Why do people have to go through all of this pain, you know? So, and that is just the bottom line of, you know, doing all of this um, campaign, okay? Before I go on again, if you do not know your genotype, I beg you in the name of Almighty God, after this video, try your best to find out, try your best to know what your genotype is. It is very, very important, especially when you are in a serious relationship with someone, you need to know your genotype. Please, 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 please. It is very, very important. Now, what is sickle cell anemia? I'm not going to go into all of those details, okay? I'm only going to give you a layman explanation or a layman statement of what I know that sickle cell anemia is. However, the very beautiful life of Abisola has done a good job, okay? She also jumped on this campaign and she has a video on her channel, so I'm going to link it in the description box. I'm also going to link um, Nazo Aze's video in, in my description box, so if you please go watch their videos as well. So, um, Life of Abisola is a medical student. She's an intelligent one at that. She's done a good job in explaining in breaking down everything of what sickle cell anemia is okay so please 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 um head over to our channel like i said i'm going to leave a video in the description box so in my own terms or in layman terms um sickle cell anemia um, is a disease whereby your red blood cells which are supposed to be um, shaped um, like an O or in a circle is shaped in a sickle form so and that is what causes pain when it goes through the bone marrows that's why that's how they uh, or why or how they have the sickle cell crisis and all of those things and uh, it's just you know it's just so much and if you ask me if love is greater than genotype I would definitely tell you no love is not greater than genotype the first and foremost reason is because love by itself is not enough to it's not enough for you to say i want to get married to this person okay so if you say uh, um for example um this lady is um as genotype and that guy is as genotype definitely they should not be getting married because they are going to produce sickle cell carrier um children okay so it is not advisable for them to come together so if the two of them say okay Irregardless of our genotype, we are still going to get married, we are still going to have children, and you know, we are going to manage everything. <sighs> it's 
it's a lot to deal with trust me it is a lot to deal with from what i've read from what i've seen it is a lot to deal let's with. assume these two people get married okay and they have a sickle cell um, pay, um child and then the child start having crisis number one there's the financial implication it is not cheap to treat sickle cell anemia or to manage um, sickle cell anemia in some part of the world such as nigeria it is not cheap it is very very expensive okay it is so so expensive that is one secondly you are not going to enjoy that marriage because you are going to be running up and down at every point in time to take care of that child or those children that are sickle cell carriers okay so by the time they are falling sick from school, it's going to affect your job because you have to be by the side of your child, isn't it? It's going to affect your home because you are not there. You are most, most, uh, mostly at the hospital. It's going to affect the, the, that love that you claim that you have, that you, that you, that you, that you tell yourself, oh, um, we, are, we love each other. We are going to get married irregardless. <laughs> it's going to affect it, my brother and my sister. So please do not do it. It is not worth it. I feel like a lot of people that go ahead after they know that their genotype, after they know that they cannot get married because of their um, genotype, I feel like those kind of people or those people are very selfish. And I'm not, I'm not excusing myself um, to say that they are very, very selfish and wicked. Because why would you know all of these things and still bring forth sickle cell I am? Um, and warriors into the world and you, you you're just basically bringing those children into the world to cause them a lot of pain so i beg you in the mighty in the name of god i beg in the name of god if you know that your genotype doesn't match it is not advisable to go ahead with that marriage it's not advisable to go ahead with with you know with that wedding it is no it is not you're, you're going to regret it at the end of the day and you know that there are people that they like to how do i even categorize this kind of people you know there are people that will be like oh um when we get married we are going to pray god is going to do it god is going to change uh, you know our genotype god is going to you know one way or the other will not have sickle cell anemia patient look let me tell you something wisdom is profitable to direct okay god gave us wisdom for a purpose god gave us that choice for a purpose you know that you shouldn't be with this person but you go ahead i uh, 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 anyways that is your own that's that's your own choice to make okay that's your choice to make and that is not a wise choice to make and don't come and box god in your situation and say oh god um this this this, this uh, my child is sick my child is that no you you knew from the beginning that you shouldn't be doing what you we should not have done what you did and then you're now saying oh god and uh, this one that one no 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 don't do it i know that i've heard, i've actually heard testimonies of children or people or, or young people that have come out um to you know to say that oh god changed their genotype i'm happy for them all well and good for them okay and like i said in the beginning of the, of this video remember i told you i i mentioned that Sickle cell warriors, it is not your fault that you're going through what you're going through, that in, you are in the pain, you know, that you are you are in right now or that you've experienced in the past couple of months, couple of weeks, couple of years, as the case may be. It is not your fault. So there are some cases where, you know, God miraculously heals them and, you know, I've heard cases like that. But do not base your situation on that and say, oh, if God can change um, this person's genotype, then I'll, I'll go ahead and get married to my fiancé who I know that is not of a compatible genotype. It doesn't just make sense. Don't be stupid, honestly. Don't be stupid, okay? Wisdom is profitable to direct. So, love is definitely not greater than genotype because, like I said, if you go ahead, number one, you're going to regret it. You're going to... <laughs> Please, 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 please don't even do Again, it. Okay. You know, when Nazo is reached out to me, coincidentally, I watched a movie where the the guy lied to the girl actually that it was AA, whereas it was AS, and the girl he also knew that the girl was AS. They actually went for checkup, but somehow, somehow, I think he he, he persu persuaded her to for them to attend a clinic where um he knew somebody there and somehow somehow they produced a result that it was you know it was a, a genotype instead of as which he or which he really is you know so when they got married it was convinced it convinced this lady not to get pregnant or for them to wait to get pregnant but she was already you know over 35 or 36 i can't remember and you know she really really wanted children eventually um she had she got pregnant the guy was upset 
and trust me he was upset because he already knows that that child is definitely going to be a sickle cell carrier she you know she had the baby eventually and then the baby started having crisis she went for tests and anyway she found out that everything you know was because her husband is a sickle cell carrier just like herself and they shouldn't have gotten married if only you know it was truthful to her at the beginning and then he said that it was because he loved her that was why he lied to her and everything i just feel like that kind of love is a selfish and a stupid love honestly it is love is not enough reason to say that you want to go ahead to get married to somebody that is a sickle cell um carrier just like yourself it doesn't make any sense you know people that you know people that have um find themselves in, in such situations you know they end up with decisions like oh when they get pregnant they're going to do selective abortions and so if when they get pregnant they're going to check you know do all sorts of tests and if that child has a sickle cell um traces they were bought and they'll get pregnant they were bought until they have you know until they are lucky enough to you know to be able to conceive of a child that, that is not a sickle cell carrier but how many abortions do you want to do like is it is it even right you know do you know what people go through to get pregnant in the first place and you want to be doing selective abortions just because of one stupid love please love is definitely not greater than genotype okay anyway let me know um your thoughts as always in the comment section please 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 drop your thoughts in the comment section as always let us learn and unlearn all of these things and let us you know let us create that awareness i believe that a lot of people do not understand deeply um why you know they shouldn't be with somebody that has the same you know genotype with them in terms of when they have the sickle cell uh, um, genes you know so please let us continue to create this awareness let us continue to spread the word let us continue to make it uh, uh, you know known to everyone to the whole world that about sickle cell anemia and let's bring this to an end a lot of people are going through so much pain and if you know any sickle cell warrior around you please show them love like i said in the beginning it is not their fault that they are going through what they are going through so please show them so much love show them so much support don't run away from them okay don't not something that they can transfer to you basically okay it's not uh, something that is contagious so please show them so much love show them your support support you know don't don't talk bad about them don't don't avoid them be their friend be their true friend you know do not treat them differently you are not better than they are basically okay so i just pray that god will give us wisdom to do all of these things appropriately okay so if you've enjoyed this video please drop your comments as usual subscribe if you've not please like i said i'm trying to grow this channel organically i want to retain and sustain my audience and i just i'm i'm <laughs> I, I get to points where I just, you know, I, I'm just tired, but I know why I started, okay? This is one of the reasons why I started to lend my voice in in, in um, situations like this. Anyway, if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up, like I said. Subscribe if you've not. My big sister, Nazo is a thank you so much for reaching out to me thank you so so much i really really do appreciate god bless you god bless what you are doing god bless the work of your hands and um, banter with angel god bless you to every youtuber that has jumped on this awareness god bless you thank you for lending your voice i pray that god will reward each and every one of us okay anyway this is the end of this video i will see you in my next one like i always say continue to stay safe stay blessed and stay in god i god loves you and i love you too Mwah. bye